Tom, what's the mood been like this week? It always seems a pretty jolly place, but after seven points from the last nine, things really seem to have lifted off everybody's shoulders. Yeah, I think, you know, after going so long without a win, you know, it, it was taking its toll a little bit. So to get that win, it's, you know, really picked the place up. And, you know, we were never too downhearted because we weren't a million miles off what we were trying to do. We uh, <clears throat> We just had a couple of, lapses in concentration that caught, uh, cost us a couple of games but you know we've now sort of ironed them out and you know hopefully we can build off the back of a, a good week. It's always seemed a confident place it always seemed like there was the know-how that things were going to turn and they do in football and they have and everyone now seems just that little bit more bubbly. Yeah 100% you know I think you know as a group you, you can't get too down with the lows and too high with the highs you know it's, the classic saying but you know it's still a long way to go in the season um you know we're we're fully confident that we can we can go to the teams and and get three points so hopefully that will do that will do us at the weekend and, and we'll go and do that just said to head coach Michael Flynn there it's actually two teams full of confidence going into this one I think Mansfield are unbeaten at home in the league ourselves with two wins and a draw going into this one it's got the potential to be a really exciting game yeah, absolutely. You know, we'll we'll go there, like you say, full of confidence after a, a good week. Um, you know, it's going to be a good game of football, hopefully, and, and hopefully we'll we'll come out of it after the 90 minutes with three points. Yourself getting a goal last weekend. There was a great photo of you with uh, head coach Michael Flynn and Wayne Hatswell as well, talking to each other before you go on as a substitute to go and maybe, say, kill that game off. And we did, and that is something that the team have really worked towards now because we've been in games where we haven't necessarily done that and it's cost us, but it's good for you to go on and make that impact. Yeah, definitely. Before I went on, the gaffer said, you're going to score today. Um, so, yeah, he, he called it. Um, I was happy to be in the right place at the right time. Hutch has put a great ball across and luckily I was there to tap it in. But, yeah, you know, we are I think we like say we have been guilty of not killing games off and going into them last few moments it's been a bit nervy and tense and unfortunately a couple of times we've we've not been able to keep the other team out but you know to kill kill teams off is massive because you know all us attackers want to chip in with goals and to do that and, and to kill the game off and get three points in front of our home fans which was excellent um yeah it was a really good good weekend celebrated right in front of the big stand and um, chanting your name at the end of the song how does that feel for you as a new player at a club to have settled in really well yeah it gives me goosebumps um yeah it's something you dream of as a, as a kid you know for the fans to be chanting your name uh, during and after the game so yeah that they've been brilliant um i think they've been patient with me as well because you know I'm, i've missed a fair few opportunities in front of goal which i've been annoyed at um, but hopefully now they're starting to go in and I can repay the, the support they've shown to me so far. You can be annoyed with those chances, but I suppose the good thing for you as a, a young player still developing is that you are getting those chances and you are having those opportunities because you, I suppose you'd be more frustrated if they weren't there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm glad that I'm in them positions and getting them opportunities because like I say, I'd be a lot more worried if I wasn't getting any chances during a game. Um, you know, I've... I've I've got to believe in myself and my ability that you know I can go on and score goals and and create chances for the team so we can kill games off we can we can get three points because at the end of the day for for Walsall to be winning that's the main aim and that's what we want to do. On a final note you've already mentioned the fans there I think there's going to be 700 plus there tomorrow at Mansfield it's an earlier kickoff but this is one of those where having such a big away crowd can be a real boost for the group. Yeah, they've been brilliant and, you know, every away game we look forward to because we know they're going to travel in their numbers. Um, I think Stockport was another brilliant turnout um, and, you know, we, we, we haven't got given them much to cheer about and, and their support is brilliant. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, they'll enjoy their day out. We'll, we'll give them three points to cheer about and we'll all go home happy on, on Saturday.